vlogmas day seven and here i am at aldi's at the best place to find cheese but today i'm gonna make the meatloaf let me get some mozzarella cheese here we go and some beef so i almost forgot the pork rinds this is what we use in place of the breadcrumbs i don't buy the spicy one because it has um msg in it and that makes me go crazy so i'm going to get the original pork rinds all right let's go make some meatloaf hey everybody um so today we're going to make a comfort food we're going to make meatloaf and um here are all the ingredients to make the meatloaf i'm going to make it stuffed with mozzarella cheese that i got from aldi's today you guys saw that and so there's so many ingredients so i'm just gonna go ahead and list them as i add them to the meatloaf mixture so let's get started okay so i'm going to go ahead and saute the vegetables i have onions celery i have some green bell peppers and some red bell peppers okay i'm going to add some salt because the salt helps the onions to cook faster also going to add a little pepper and then i'll add the thyme i'm going to let this saute for about four minutes okay guys so it's been four minutes i'm going to go ahead and add the garlic and we'll let this continue to saute for about a minute longer that that garlic becomes fragrant and then we'll set it aside let it cool and then we'll add it to the meat mixture okay so here we have a pound and a half of ground beef now i'm going to add the other ingredients i have the pork rind i have worcestershire sauce one egg some salt and pepper grated parmesan, tomato sauce, and our vegetables. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix it all together. Um, and you don't want to over mix this. You just want to mix it so that it's all combined. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm sorry guys, you have to use your hand for this. Okay, so I do like to make my meatloaf in a loaf pan. And what I do um, for the stuffed meatloaf, I'm going to divide the beef into two equal parts. And then I'm going to take one half of it and pat it down into the loaf pan. Now you see me adding the mozzarella cheese to the center of the beef. And I'm just going to lay all of the slices at the center because we don't want any of our cheese to run out of it. Now I'm adding the other half of the beef mixture and I am sealing the deal. <laughs> so I'm going around the edges making sure that there's no um, cheese showing and if there's any I'm going to cover it with the beef. Okay so it all looks good. It's ready to bake. I'm going to go ahead and top it with our tomato base mixture and I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm going to add half of the tomato base mixture to top the meatloaf and I'll add the other half 15 minutes before the meatloaf is completely done. So now I'm going to go ahead and place it in the oven and I'll be right back to show you the finished product. Alright so here it is coming right out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and pour off some of this fat. I'll go ahead and top it again and put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes and then we'll be done. All right guys, so it's done. I'm going to let it cool and then I'll come back. Okay, so I went ahead and gave it a slice. It is still piping hot. I should have let it cool a lot longer, but I just couldn't wait. But look at that yummy goodness and all that melty cheese in the middle. Delicious. I already had a little bite and trust me, it's delicious. So if you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. The entire recipe will be listed on my website. It's lowcarb360.com. As always, I thank you all for watching.